Okay, this is writing an equation of a rational function given its graph, not given its given. <laughs> so given its graph. Um, now, sometimes they can give you just the information or they can give you an image with the information. So you just have to be careful. Um, you really don't need the graph. You can just go based off of the information. Uh, but if they give you a graph, you can always write down this information. So remember that your vertical asymptotes come from your denominator. So if you're given the vertical asymptotes, you can determine your denominator. Now since I have two vertical asymptotes, that means I need to have two factors in my denominator, which means that this two cannot possibly be the format for, um, or the form for my equation, okay? Because I have two vertical asymptotes, which means I would need two factors in the denominator. So it's gotta either be this form, this form, or this form, okay? Now, I also know that I have a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero. Well, that only happens when the degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator. So down here I would have a square, and up there I would have no x's. So this does fit that description. Top degree is smaller than the bottom degree. Here I would have an x squared. Over here I just have an x, which means the top degree is smaller than the bottom degree. But for the bottom one, I would have an x squared and an x squared, which means those degrees would be the same. And in order for me to have an asymptote at y equals zero, my degrees should not be the same. Okay, so now I'm down to these two. Now it does tell me that I have an x-intercept, and x-intercepts we get from the numerator. And because I only have one x-intercept, um, I should only have one factor with x in the numerator. Notice this one doesn't have any factors for x in the numerator. So it's not going to be that option, it's going to be this form here. So this is going to be the form I select for this information. Now, how do I fill this out? Okay, that we need to discuss. For the vertical asymptotes, it's going to be x minus 1, x minus a negative 6, which is plus 6. For the numerator, I'm going to have x um, minus a negative 4, which turns into x plus 4. The only thing I'm missing is this a value here. So I do need to use the other point that they gave me to determine that a value. So I know that x is 5 in this point and y is negative 1. So this will become negative 1, I don't know what a is, and x will become negative 5. And I'm plugging it into my answer here. So I get negative 1 equals a times negative 1 times negative 6 times 1, which gives me negative 1 times negative a over negative 6. If I multiply both sides of my fraction by the denominator, negative 6, I get that negative, or not negative, negative and a negative would be positive 6 equals negative a. And then if I divide by negative 1, I find that a is equal to negative 6. So now I know what that a value should be. It should be a negative 6. And then this is the answer that they're looking for. Okay. So let's say they give us another problem, right? Because they give you like three versions or more, depending on if you're getting them right or not. Um, again, I don't need the graph, okay? But it's there. Okay, what I need is this information. So I do have two of these. So I'm gonna use a red pin now so I can cross these out, okay? So I do have two vertical asymptotes. So again, it's not going to be these two options because I don't have two factors in the denominator for my vertical asymptotes. I do have a horizontal asymptote and it's negative three. If the horizontal asymptote is not zero, then that means that the bottom should have the same degree as the top. And if you notice, there are two factors for x up here, but none up there. So that's not gonna have the same degree. 
There's two factors for x down here, but only one up top. So that's not going to be the form for this problem. This one has two x uh, factors and two x factors. So this is going to be our form, okay? So for this problem B, that one is going to be our form. Now, x-intercepts are negative five, and that's it, just one. So we have to think about this. There's supposed to be two factors up there, but we only get one x-intercept. How in the world is that going to happen? I will explain to you how it's going to happen. It will happen if x minus negative five, if it's the same factor, right? If you've got two of them that are exactly the same, you're gonna get the same x-intercept. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna do x minus a negative one, which is plus one. And then we're going to get x minus six, which is, or x minus a negative six, which is x plus six. I don't know what a is, so I'm gonna use that other value. So then, um, y is going to be 2, a I don't know, x is going to be negative 3. So then I get a times 2 times 2 over negative 2 times 3. So then we get 4a over negative 6, multiply by the negative 6 on both sides. I get negative 12 equals 4a, divide by 4. I get negative 3 equals a. So what is the function that they want? The function they want is negative 3 times x plus 5 times x plus 5 over x plus 1 times x plus 6. And this is what they're going to want. So negative three found, the x plus five is in the top, and the x plus one and x plus six in the denominator.